Well, that's the remains of my garden from this year. And I've harvested most of it, about 90%. And that's 90% of what was there. The rest is still green and, you know, ripening. So it was fairly successful. There's about 125 fruits, mostly squashes. Some worked really well and some didn't. Those damn yellow beetles drove me crazy this year. Eating all the flowers of the young squashes so that the young squashes won't develop. Stuff like that. Heating the leaves off the plants. Well anyways, some of the really stunted plants had small fruits. The ones that didn't get stunted, normal sized fruits. And I've got a few that are the biggest ones I've ever seen. Oh, like 10 pounders. Butternut squashes and buttercup squashes and stuff like that. Only grew a few pumpkins. Tried to grow Atlantic giant pumpkins, but the bugs liked those the best and just destroyed those mass before they even fruited. But now on to the more updates in my next project. From that to that, that's a Dodge 318 engine hanging around, carbureted, so it makes for simple hookup for a project. And that's the project. And that's Jay's Jetta, right? That's right. So this is going to be rat rod, David's farm rat rod. I'm just building it out of random junk I have at the farm. So this big old fashioned homemade push bumper came off a like 1970s Dodge truck that was here way before I was making YouTube videos. So I think I'll stick that on the front. I found a 1952 GMC pickup truck hood in pretty good shape. Still got the logos and everything on it, so that'll be cool. That's what rat rods are supposed to do. They're supposed to look a little old and weathered. And it's going to be mid-motor. I'm going to put the motor right there. So it's going to make a little stubby drive shaft, so I'll show you guys again how to do that. And I haven't decided if I'm going to keep the box on there yet. This was a 1995 Chevy Blazer or something off-road with the extra high jacked up suspension. I think the wheels look pretty cool, but that's pretty ratty. But it is a rat rod, so we'll figure out what I'm going to do with that. And it's going to have random seating positions. Pipes coming out the side and look totally cool. Okay. Another Dave's Farm classic. Yep. We got to leave the box, Dave, because we got to have somewhere to put the beer. Oh, that's right. Then we got to make a cooler system for it too. That's right. <laughs> Next. I got some mail. Alex Weed from Bologna, Bologna, Saskatchewan. Don't know what it is. He told me to open it up on camera. Feels like a t-shirt. Maybe a Mickey of whiskey. I don't know. Something's in the middle. A little heavier. Mm. Answer. And I've been busy lately doing lots of things that weren't fun to make videos of, but got lots of work done. And I actually had lots of fun too, but some of the things that happens out here doesn't go on YouTube. <laughs> okay. You gotta read me on this the says seven up, keychain. You gotta read me on the lid. Read me, okay. Well just a minute. A beer in the hand is better than one two in the fridge. <laughs> I gotta agree with that. Why didn't I think of that? That's true. <laughs> Final gear shirt. Let's see if it's an XL. Works for me. Does it say anything in the back? No, nope. it's Battery. blank. And, ooh, something for another one of my Chevy creations. Oh, somebody had some taste. I must have an OCD because all my crazy creations are made out of Chevys. Mm -hmm. And the redneck roller coaster, and you know my other tanker. Well, you know they are the the most hardest, reliable, dependable, most versatile, universal vehicle there well, is. Well, maybe there's so many of them junk. That's why I have so many of them around. Everybody junks them. They don't want them. Well, they work for us pretty fu pretty well. Alrighty, this is a Saskatchewan flag. Sure as hell looks like it. Whoops. Yep. Cool. That'll go in the shop. Now for what isn't a Mickey, unfortunately. Oh, and rats. Darn it. Oh no. It's another Chevy creation. <laughs> Someone else has got an OCD for Chevys. Oh, thank God. It's not a Chevy. I think it's a Subaru. 
Well, that's huh. he doesn't have the same disease that you have. <laughs> it's a redneck roller coaster. Looks is that a Subaru Boxer? <laughs> yeah, they, no, it's a Impreza WRX. Impreza, yeah. Intercooled. Yeah. That'd be one fast fucking redneck roller coaster. Yeah, I'll trade you. Hey, get a shot. I'll trade you. <laughs> <laughs> so, starting this week is the new project. I guess I figure I have to put that right in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's going to have one more unique feature. Never thought of before. Custom made, really cool looking grill. I'm not going to tell you what it's going to look like, but it might change world history, and other people might want to be copying me from that time on. It's going to look awesome. I've got it all in my head. It's going to That's a dangerous it. place. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all know it? So it's gonna have this awesome custom made grill, that bumper. And the grill's gonna be really creepy and probably be copied from that point on from throughout the world. I think it's gonna be really cool. So let's see what it's gonna come up like. I never made any drawings. Okay, well now we gotta get the motor in the shop and figure out how we get to mount it mid-engine. Sweet. Keep watching. <laughs>